hell is the definition of an American? And when I say get a copper-colored penny out and put it on the brown side of you before you look at the definition, there is a reason for that. And, you know, my brother in Georgia, who was texting me how he's LMAO, he's seen it himself. He's like, Yasa, I see what you're talking about. When I pull this dictionary out and I tell somebody, to, and you got to tell them to do it themselves, get, you, yeah, you need to get a penny out. You don't give it to them unless they don't have one. But the objective is they have to first go looking for one, go fishing for one. That's kinesthesiology. That's kinesthesiology. Or I'm saying it wrong, kinesthesiology. That's kinesthetic. Okay? When they go looking for a penny, that's touch. Then when they get it out and lay it on the back of their hand, that's touch and see and do. And you're talking to them and telling them to do stuff. That's hearing and auditory. Then you give them the dictionary and say, now turn the dictionary to American. Or you can turn it there yourself and hand it to them already there and say, now read this with this penny on the back of your hand. Read this. And when they look in that 1828 American Dictionary of the English Language by Noah Webster, which you should all have your own hard copy of by now, because the original one was two volumes, they have reprinted it into one volume. They've taken both books and made them one book. It's a green book with a golden eagle on the cover. You can buy it brand new all over the Internet all day long for $55, brand new. Some people include the shipping for that. There's no excuse for you to not have your tools unless your finances are just really, really sh uh, shallow. And I've given you the website before, 1828, that's the number one, the number eight, the number two, and the number eight, dot M, like money, Schaefer.com. 1828.mschafer.com. That's M S H A F. F E R. That's two F like Frank. M Schaefer dot com. And the eighteen twenty eight is uploaded to the internet. Um, but the problem with that is it does not always read exactly the way it does in the dictionary. Because an ebook. So if you know what an American means and <clears throat> what the original definition of, of it is, can nobody tell you shit about go back to Africa. <laughs> Fuck you, you go back to Africa. See, when people say things like, you know, there were no Africans and no, no black people in Egypt, and there were no Africans and no black people in America, see, me, I don't get insulted. I go, you're absolutely right. God damn it, son of a gun. How, how did you know that? Because I know damn well the term black means them, and I know damn well the term African originally meant them. Black originally meant them. African originally meant them. Even 1828 says, you know, it is, it is amazing how a term that means this has now come to mean this. In other words, they find it astonishing that the, a term that meant bleached out, pale, white, and wan in color has now come to mean dark as night and, and black as ink and dark as a coal. It's like, wow, talk about making black white and making the truth a lie and making right left and left right. So when somebody like me comes along and tells you the truth or tries to show you the truth, I sound like a goddamn lying crazy bitch. Excuse my language. And people kick my butt out there on the Internet. Oh, she is interesting what she's saying, but she's, in, she's, she's mixing truth with lies. I'm not mixing truth with lies. You need to do additional due diligence. So your document or the ones that I'm going to do, because I don't want people doing what they do best, selling shit to people and giving stuff to people, and they don't know what they have, and they're criminal-minded anyway, and they're out there doing dumb shit in our name, like the so-called United States, does atrocious shit for a year. As a year, because the United States is the military arm and bully for the European Alliance or the European Union. And they do what the hell they're told by their boss masters who are given their orders by Jesuit militia, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, Pope, um, and the damn international bankers, who I believe are running the state of Israel, call it what you will, 
but wake up. These people have set their eyeballs on America. Because I've told you before, and I'm going to tell you again if you miss it the first time, these people have determined that they have, and I'm going to say it's a Jesuit militia, I perceive that these people that are called Jews have been thoroughly usurped by other people, like our people have been usurped. You got everybody and their mama saying they're American, and Americans talking about they're African. You know what I'm saying? So I believe there's some serious uh, na uh, nationality swapping going on out here. But there are a bunch of people that say they're Jews, and they're not, and they're fucking liars. And it says that in, the, in your holy Bible. Revelations 2.9 and 3.9. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jew and are not. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are not, I mean, say they are Jew and are not, but do lie. They are the synagogue of Satan. And they acknowledge such. So these people that are so-called real Jews need to become aware of these people that are not Jews. And you can see skirmishes between them out there at times. And they're doing a lot of shit to be smirched so-called real Jews, just like a lot of people are doing shit to besmirch real Americans. So when the United States does these horrendous things, and it's like, well, America this and America that, and America, America, America my ass, America ain't done shit. America, done, America trying to eat, you know? Uh, just like uh, uh, this dude Zimmerman that killed, uh, what's his brother, uh, Trayvon. They're talking about death threats on his life, and, oh, he's gotten multiple death threats. First of all, if he's gotten death threats, I would say Jesuit militia is behind that. I would say Ku Klux Klan is behind that. I would say law enforcement agents are behind that. You know why? One, the average nigga don't know where the hell Mr. Zimmerman lives or gives a damn. Not that they don't care about Brother Trayvon. If they know, yo, this ain't the first brother this didn't happen to, and he ain't going to be the last. There's brothers that's happening to every day that ain't making the damn media. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got this little brother that got beat to a pulp. His head was swollen up so big, you couldn't even recognize his brother way back in the day. <clears throat> so this is not news. But my thing is this. The average melanin-rich individual ain't making death threats on, on Mr. Zimmerman. One, they wouldn't even know where the hell to send the shit. The average nigga trying to figure out how to keep a roof over their head, how to get Mr. Charlie off their ass. How they going to eat today? Man, shit, we got to come up with this rent, man. You know, he's trying to foreclose. We got to figure out how we going to pay. They don't have time. One, they don't have the money or the resources or the time and energy to hire private detectives to hunt this dude down. Even if they did have a, hire a private detective, he'd have to look like Mr. Zimmerman, and he ain't going to work too hard for the average nigga. Real talk. Might take your money and then go tell him, hey, man, there's, there's niggas out here trying to figure out where you at. Ain't going down. And if there's a nigga P.I., he ain't going to be able to get too close to Mr. Zimmerman. The only person that can do anything to him is people that look like him. Why? If the average nigga came anywhere near that but that dude or near his neighborhood or near his house, they'd be just like Trayvon. Excuse me, may I help you? Are you lost? How many niggas you know can walk too many places in areas that they ain't from, even areas they are from, like Trayvon was supposed to be from there, and not get confronted and assaulted by these people? Hi, how are you? May I help you? Are you looking for somebody? Are you lost? But man, did I ask you for your damn help? Now, when you're looking for help, you can't get none, you know? And then when you're like, can I get some help over here? Can I get some help over here? You know, people think you're on some whole other shit. Now, walk in the store needing help, people act like they don't see you. Walk in there trying to steal. Everybody's following you around the damn store. I mean, don't play with me. My people are not making any threats on this dude. Because why? For one thing, we're used to this kind of treatment. We're accustomed to this bullshit. Second, the average nigga you know ain't finna take no time to write no threat letter. Hell, half the niggas you know ain't taking enough time to write love letters to people. Niggas in jail, they got relatives in jail and prison. They ain't writing letters to that. them niggas. They sure ain't finna write shit to Mr. Zimmerman. Get real. Don't play with me. My people, need to, we need to make sure we don't fall for this okey-doke-ass shit. Ain't no niggas out there threatening this man's life. The hell we are. Most of us too busy trying to figure out how to handle our own life. Now, if he lives next door, around the corner, he might have a problem. 
But where they live is obviously an area they're not accustomed to seeing melanin-rich people, so it ain't like niggas know where to find this fool anyway, even if they posted his address. If a nigga went to the neighborhood, the police would be all over your ass. Do it, do it. Can you pull over? Uh, get up against the wall, put your hands up at the wall. Why are they going through your pockets without a damn warrant talking about, uh, do you need something? Are you lost? Why are you here? Are you on parole or probation? So don't come at me with the shit. But uh, I'm not going to let um, anybody take these documents that I'm trying to do and black them up. So when I do them, <clears throat> those of you that are caught up and on point and on page, you will get your documents and no. Uh, like somebody was like, oh, somebody wants to buy your ID. Well, hell, my IDs aren't for sale. I'm not selling shit now. Uh, if, if there's a fee, $10 maybe, no more than 20 and that'll be because special paper to do them. Um, I got I got to do this laser toner, color laser toner, and shit ain't cheap to replace. Then I got to drive the ID and mail it. Now, the papers, that's some shit. I can email that shit to you. It don't cost nothing. Now, the thing is, is when I create our database, and I do have a database. I have a database already going of people in it. And there are a lot of people I know that are not yet in it because I have not yet given them any IDs or documents because it's not it's, it's still in the make it. I'm getting ready to tighten it up very quickly though <clears throat> because I got to get into me and I got a lot of other things that I have to do. But uh, there are individuals out there, can't be more than 10, that have my temporary ID and that was only because I wanted them to have them because it was better than nothing. Like this is just temporary, these are prototypes while I'm tightening up the stuff, you know, what I want on it, what I don't want on it, and this and that and the other, but this is better than nothing. I have not put anybody on notice about it yet. Rome ain't on notice about it yet, and I let everyone know that. For now, these are primarily for you, for your own edification. But I have a database um, with these, uh, with the so-called, with the style, which some people call name. I have the gender of the being. I have the day they arrived on Earth or their Earth arrival date, or which you, some of you call solar returns or birthdays uh, also. Uh, and I have, uh, I'm trying to think, is their height? They, I might have their height, weight, um, and I have a, a number that is assigned to these individuals. And I'm not the only person with a copy of the database. And it's a small database for now, but it will grow quickly, um, especially when I put Rome on notice. And no, I'm not asking them for their consent. America was here long before they showed up. We'll be here long after they're gone. The ID, you only need one. It's not, oh, you got to replace it every year, every five years, every ten years. Once you get your one, that's the only one you'll ever need unless you lose it. You know what I'm saying? So no, I'm not selling the shit. I'm not even selling the papers because I don't want anybody selling the damn papers. I don't want y'all screwing my stuff up screwing our, I'm sorry, absolve me, stuff up. But there will be a corresponding number on the paper that is also matching and in correspondence with the ID so that anybody out there selling crap and whatever the case may be, you're going to get you or yourself and whoever you sold the two screwed. Because when Rome contacts me or us to go, we got one of yours, is this one yours? It's like, okay, well, what is the number and what is the information? When I look at that database, Especially if they email, send, send me a picture, email me a picture. It's like, I don't know who the hell that is. That, they're, they're not one of us. No, they're not. Now, they're, everybody out there is us, but they're not ready to walk around with the documents and the paperwork because they're not clear enough in who they are. If you still believe you're African American and you're Egyptian American or you're some child of the the cosmic order, and, and I don't have a problem. Believe what you want to believe and say who you are. You are who you say you are. You know, it, it, you know, you run around telling me, bless you, and I'll have a blessed day. I'm like, okay, this person claims they're caught up. You can't be caught up and you telling me bless you. And, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day that's not caught up, and they were using that, and I knew they weren't. But there's somebody else that's real caught up, done all their salt baths and salves and having major success. But then when I talk to them, they let it slip out. Yeah, sister, and... Bless you and all, oh, bless, bless, and praise the mother and, and bless. And 
You know, I was reading the Psalms and the 23rd Psalms. I'm like, I ain't told no nigga to mix my shit with no damn Holy Bible 